Hi, this is Brett Statham and my aluminum channel letter give sign. This is part of the 27th floor redesign up at Lincoln Square. I designed the letters in Inkscape, exported DXFs, pulled them into SheetCam to create the CNC toolpaths, then headed down to Maker Place right here in San Diego and used their CNC plasma cutter to cut out the letters. Now, if you haven't tried cutting sheet metal by hand before, I can tell you it's a real pain in the rear and a little unsafe, so having the CNC plasma cutter to do the work for me was a real blessing. And you can see it did an excellent job of cutting out the holes for the LEDs, as well as the outlines of the letters themselves. I then repeated that for the I, the V, and the E, and I had the beginnings of my give sign. Now to give them a nice brushed metal look, I ran the letters through the Time Saver Mini Belt. It's basically a big belt sander for metal, and it just gives the letters a nice matte finish. I did the same thing for some long pre-cut aluminum strips to create the channels, and then I covered those up with painter's tape to protect them, and then took them to the letters to mark the corner locations, and off to the sheet metal brake to put bends in the strips right at those points. And then just repeated that process for all the corners on all the letters. Now at the end of a strip, I could take it over to the sheet metal shear and cut the end off. Now to make sure that the letters floated at the right depth inside the channels, I mocked them up with some of the 30 millimeter LEDs and then just taped them up for some temporary use. But at the end of that, I had what I think is already a pretty cool looking letter. So it was back on with the aluminum strips for the channels, get it taped and clamped up. Now originally I'd hoped to weld that, but switched to using some epoxies because I found out that my aluminum welding skills were really not up to par. But after a good dose of epoxy and giving it some time to set and cure, I had an aluminum channel letter. So I repeated that for the I, the V, and the E, and my sign was ready for finishing. So it was off with that painter's tape and out with those mock-up LEDs, got the litters cleaned and decreased and sent out to a local shop to be anodized. That's where they basically dip it in a big pit of acid and inject a pigment into the surface of the metal. Now the G came apart during the process so I had to re-epoxy it. For the electronics I used a Raspberry Pi 2 and a Pi hat from Adafruit. That's basically a board that lets me put my own custom electronics on top of the Raspberry Pi. So first I had to get that assembled and get the header for that soldered on. Now the circuit I put on the Pi Hat was a voltage regulator circuit. And the purpose of that was to allow me to use the same 12 volt power supply that I needed to drive those big LEDs, uh, but to generate the five volt output needed for the Raspberry Pi. I then hooked up the SPI pins on the Pi Hat to the 30 millimeter LED dots using some JST four pin connectors, booted the Pi off Windows 10 IoT core, and deployed a custom UWP app to control the LEDs. After epoxying on some mounts and super gluing the lights onto the back of the sign, I tucked the Pi neatly away in the tongue of the G, added power, ethernet, and interletter connections, then test mounted it to make sure it would hang on the wall, and hooked up the electronics to make sure it all functioned. At this point, it was ready to be packed and shipped up to Lincoln Square for its final installation up on the 27th floor. And that's where it hangs today, acting as a progress indicator against our Give Campaign goals. And the Pi connects over SignalR to an Azure web app so I can remotely monitor, update the progress, and control the sign.